Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rob. While scripting an upcoming video about making money from a Blender YouTube channel, I learned that the RPM or revenue per mill or how much YouTube actually pays you after YouTube and advertisers take their cut is only about $2. For the education niche as a whole, it's closer to around $10, but since the Blender Foundation doesn't put a lot of money into advertising, the RPM for Blender channels is pathetically low. In order to make any money from a Blender channel, you must do something else. That's why you often see Blender content creators peddling courses, add-ons, Patreons, you know, things of that nature. Since I'm currently making no money and haven't been for the last two and a half years, I thought I'd try something new by opening an Etsy shop and selling custom prints that use geometry nodes to achieve an effect. I have four designs so far, but they basically all work the same. The customer would supply a photo, I would use that photo as input, and the node tree would do some work and output the effect that I would then render and send back to the customer. I'll show you how they work in a bit more detail in a moment. It only takes a few minutes to process, and rendering takes less than a second since Eevee works well enough. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I want to get started sooner rather than later. By the time this video goes live, the four designs I made will all be listed on my shop. So if you're watching this now, congratulations. A link to my shop can be found on my channel page or in the description of this video. After 30 days, if I've made any progress, I'll make a video with all the juicy details. Otherwise, if there's nothing noteworthy, I'll just push it off until there's something worth saying. This isn't a science experiment, so I'm not hiding it behind a new channel. Please share it with anyone you think would be interested. I'd really appreciate that. For the remainder of this video, I want to show you how I came up with these designs and how they work. I'm not going to go into tutorial level detail, but I think you'll find it interesting and hopefully it'll provide you with some inspiration on how you can do something similar. The whole process began while I was randomly scrolling through Google Images for research on my video about making abstract art. I searched for geometric designs and stumbled upon this image. That got me thinking about how I might make this in geometry nodes, which eventually led to the video. I didn't really think about turning it into a service until later. I was mindlessly scrolling through Reddit when I saw this image. I decided to recreate the effect just to flex my geometry node muscles. I haven't made a tutorial on it, but I'm highly considering it because it wasn't trivial at all to set up, so I think there are some interesting things to learn from it. However, the point is, this plus the previous piece got me thinking about how I could create a bunch of different designs and sell it as a service where each one would be personalized. I personally didn't like the circular one since the customer would have to decide on where the circles originate from, and I could see that calls on a lot of revisions and complaints. That's not something I want to deal with starting out. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't be too bad, but instead I converted it to horizontal and vertical lines. Now there are fewer things that could go wrong. With that done, I went looking for more inspiration on Google Images. I found a lot of people doing this moon pattern. I recreated a version in geometry nodes that's completely customizable. As usual, the colors come from a user supply image. The background colors get a little darker to give it some separation and contrast. That's the gist of how I came up with these ideas. I'm just searching for ideas and in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about if this design would be possible in geometry nodes or not. As you get more experience, you'll open up more possibilities. It'll become less and less, I don't know how to do that. And more and more, I know I can figure that out. With that said, I'm still unsure about a lot of things regarding the shop. I don't have a lot of experience running an Etsy shop. I've sold one item in the past for $1,200 way back in 2018. More on that in a future video if you guys are curious because that was a wild ride and it deserves its own video. I'm really uncertain about the price. The final product is a digital download, but there are some manual work that goes into making each one, so I can't just sell it for the typical digital download price. I'm gonna start the price off at 725, which is the minimum wage in the US as a symbolic gesture. If that's too little and too many people buy them, it will be difficult to finish them all in a reasonable amount of time. If that happens, I'll slowly increase the price to curb the demand, and likewise if I don't get enough sales, and I'll just keep playing around with it until I find a balance. If anybody has any recommendations, Etsy shop advice, or designs you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. If you wanna help support the channel, you can get the project files or just have your name at the end of the video by joining my Patreon. Or you can consider buying something from my shop. You can find the link in the video description.